Hi technology lovers, welcome to my trilingual ECDL e-learning tutorials. Yes, I know it looks like I'm going to give you a GIMP tutorial, but no, we are still on topic uh, PowerPoint Advanced number two, part two in 2023. Of course, one of these days we're going to come to this topic also together, but after the database topic. So let's finish the PowerPoint Advanced, which is also very, very interesting. Okay. So I uh, hope you remember that last week we started a new exercise from icdl.org in English. And of course, as usual, I'm going to give you a translation uh, of the questions in German and in French. Remember, I told you that uh, this sample test contains uh, 20 questions. And today we are moving on with questions number six, seven, and eight, A's, B's, and C's. <laughs> All right, you. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> okay, back to our instructions. We stopped uh, by question five last time. Now we can scroll down and move on. Here we are. Question number six. Open the file named nuroot.pptx without updating the links. A. Break any links to external files. B. On slide 1, remove the hyperlink applied to the Eiffel Tower image. Now let me give you a German translation of the question number 6. Öffnen Sie die Datei mit dem Namen uh, nurut.pptx ohne die Verknüpfung zu aktualisieren. A. Trennen Sie alle Links zu externen Dateien. B. Entfernen Sie auf Folie 1 den äh, Hyperlink zum äh, Eiffel Tower Bild. Maintenant la traduction française de la question numéro 6. Ouvrez le fichier titré newroute.pptx sans mettre à jour euh, le lien. Ensuite A. Retirer quelconque lien euh, vers des fichiers externes. B. Sur la diapositive euh, numéro 1, supprimer le lien euh, hypertexte appliqué à l'image nommée euh, Eiffel Tower. <rire> la tour Eiffel, bien sûr. Ok, let's go and do this one. Ok, now uh, in our test folder, now we are going to open the work files again. And we choose the new root one, this one. We open it. Okay, we want to click here, of course, uh, enable editing. And now it's going to ask us if we want to update the links. And they said no. So we have to cancel here. All right. And because it's uh, read only here, I have to go ahead and uh, and save it as. So I go, so I saved it as you can see above the ribbon. Now we have the right title PowerPoint Advanced number two part two. Okay, now uh, they said uh, first we have to go and uh, take a look at the information here in the backstage uh, um, and make sure we are going to break any external links. So we have to just Scroll a little bit down here and we edit links to file. I hope you can see. And we just uh, take a look at what it was. This is uh, the document and we have to break it and we break the link. And then we close and we go back. And now, uh, then we have to um, remove the link, yes, remove the link from the uh, Eiffel uh, Tower uh, image. And this is what we are going to do. We just have to right click on the image and in the options we just have here, remove the link. We remove it. Mm -hmm. So this image has no more hyperlink. Okay, we have uh, performed uh, the question uh, number six already. Mm -hmm. Now we can go back to our instructions. Okay, now uh, question number seven. On slide one, A, 
crop the Eiffel Tower image to remove the moon from the top left corner of the image and then B, save the Eiffel Tower image in GIF format as Tower GIF to your candidate drive. Jetzt auf Deutsch, Frage Nummer 7. Auf Folie 1. A. Schneiden Sie uh, das Bild Eiffel Tower <lacht> zu, um den uh, Mond aus der oberen linken Ecke des Bildes zu entfernen. B. Speichern Sie das Bild uh, Eiffel Tower genannte im uh, GIF-Format als Tower GIF auf ihrem ähm, Kandidatenlaufwerk Testordner. En français, ça donne euh, question numéro 7 sur la diapositive numéro 1. A. Recadrer l'image Eiffel Tower pour euh, supprimer la lune du coin supérieur gauche de l'image. B. Euh, enregistrer l'image Eiffel Tower au format GIF en tant que Tower GIF euh, sur votre lecteur euh, dans le dossier test en fait. All right, let's go and do this one. Ok, here we are still on slide number one and this is true, we have a moon here on the left upper corner and we have to crop this one, exactly this one. So all we have to do is to uh, picture format tab, we have to select this one and then choose a symbol in the group size which is called crop You see, you have many crop kinds. We need the first one. So, then it's like uh, common sense. You're gonna know how to cut it. Believe me. Okay. And it's good. Ah, yes. And now we have to, um, to save it as GIF, Tower GIF. Huh? Again, we uh, right click, but not this way. We make sure we right click the right way. <laughs> and here it's written uh, save as uh, as picture. And now we choose me. I go on the desktop. I don't, I don't put them uh, in the test ordner because I want to keep the test ordner with the original exercises. Okay. All we have to do is to choose the right extension. As you can read, uh, graphics interchange format. This is the GIF. So we shoot this one and we save. So now, of course, if you want to make sure you did indeed save it as a GIF, you go back to your the place where you, you saved it. Me, it's my desktop. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here is a tower GIF. And here inside you can You can see uh, by the property of the image, element type, uh, GIF, uh, data. This is in German right now. And uh, it's going to give you ex the exact time when you did it. So, um, okay, back uh, to our instructions for the last question of the day, the number eight. Let's read it. Uh, on slide one, modify the plain picture at the bottom of the slide by A. Applying a radial gradient fill effect with 40% transparency. B. Applying a harsh lighting surface effect. C. Applying a 3D rotation effect of 45 on X and zero on Y. The letter Y, of course. <laughs> Jetzt auf Deutsch, Frage Nummer 8. Ändern Sie auf Folie 1 uh, das Plane genannt Bild am unteren Rand der Folie wie folgt. A. Anwenden eines radialen Verlaufsfühleffekts mit uh, 40% Transparenz. B. Anwenden eines harten Lichtoberflächeneffekts und dann C. Äh, Anwendung eines 3D-Dreheffekts äh, von äh, 45 Grad auf X und 0 auf Y.
Ich, Deutsch ist nicht einfach. Hein. Maintenant, en français, donc la question numéro 8. Euh, sur la diapositive numéro 1, modifier euh, l'image nommée plain en bas de la diapositive comme ceci. A. Appliquer un effet de remplissage de, de dégradé radial avec une transparence de 40%. Ensuite, B. Appliquer un effet de surface d'éclairage sombre euh, nommé ici euh, Harsh. Euh, ensuite, C. Appliquer un effet euh, de rotation 3D de 45 euh, degrés sur X et de 0 sur euh, Y. Allez, on y va. Let's go and do this. Ok, this is the plane. <laughs> the famous plane we are talking about. So now we have to um, make sure we right click on this image. And here we choose a format shape. And once we are here, I hope you can see right. We choose fill once <laughs> and then we choose the gradient fill and then uh, we choose here uh, radial i think they want radial so we have a lot of options here linear radial rectangular or pass we choose the radial and then they talked about uh, and then we have to choose the 40 percent transparency here After position, we have transparency, so we add a four in the front here. You see, 40% transparency, we're good. And now you see how the plane looks like. It was really dark before, now you know. Okay, now we have to choose um, uh, the harsh lighting. And the harsh lighting is located... Uh, by 3d format mm -hmm. so here we have the light the lighting is here lighting so you see material lighting and here when we click here inside we have the gallery opening as you can see we have the neutral group the warm the cool and the special and we choose the harsh one which is uh, located by the neutral now Let's see what happens. Okay, something little happens, you know, on the plane. It's kind of lila colored, you know, violet. Okay. Okay, now we want to move on uh, by the, you know, down in the bottom, you can see a uh, three-day rotation. Or if you want, you can also go up and remember that, okay, I am still on uh, option three-day format, you see. And you notice that if you click here, You are all good. Now, they want here, uh, I think, yeah, that, that's uh, 45X. 45. And here, uh, by Y, the letter Y, it's like 50. You see, and uh, if you take a look at the image, the plane is about to crash. So we are going to remove something here. We remove the five. Now it's okay. The plane balances are, you know, looking all right now. <laughs> okay, I think uh, we are done with uh, question number eight. Let's close uh, the options. And that's the last one of the day. I hope uh, you could learn something new or I could refresh your memory with something you forgot about. And now, if God's willing, the rest is coming next. And it's going to be uh, questions 9, 10, and 11. <laughs> All right. I can't wait. God bless you. Bye-bye.